seeing this one person just watching and now it's like when you pull up this person now turns off their car they get out their car or they leave their car stalled and they, they they get out and now this person acting weird but but you know police whoever this is been like damn i've been sitting here this whole time what the fuck this person ain't did this shit wait let me see so they see you not paying attention to this person, but they see this person enticed with you, this person following you, just walking to a building behind you, maybe waiting for you to come out of the building. At this point, this person could probably be sitting out the, out their door or their car with their foot out waiting to see you to approach you. Like this person did some sort of gestures that made the police and somebody need to give this, pray for this this officer that witnessed this and get them their flowers because something something made this officer witness something. I'm telling you. It's one. They didn't, they didn't just brush this off. They didn't put this in the wind. They do this shit. They they peep weird shit. This a per this a person that had weird shit happen to them. This a police that's really a police. Like they sit around and really watch and look for weird ass shit going on. Look, they die to do this shit. This police officer will die behind their job. This person will praise when they're off from work. They're thinking about how can they be better for work. This person prays that God enlightens them with a better gift, a different gift, new gift, so that they can be better at their job to help people. This person really likes helping people. Look, the lovers. Especially couples, people that is a lover, they really like to help people. This person has a passion for helping people. This person has a passion for peeping out bullshit, peeping out snake shit. And that's why I say I think this is an FBI agent, a federal agent. Three of Swords. This person has been betrayed. This this officer, this federal, they've been betrayed. They know what it's like to have somebody sneak up on you and shit. Get one up on you. They've had one probably on in the field, in the job. Or their lover could have had something like this happen to them. They could have had their lover try to kill them before on some snake shit. So they look for shit like that. People dropping their kids off to school. People dropping their kids off to work. People going to work and they when they're arriving to work. So this person could be in the area where it's a lot of families, a lot of stable families. And they just sit around and on their free time and just peep and see if any weird shit happens with families and shit. Ace of Swords, yep. Yeah. And this person just feels like, you know, I'm going to just sit around and if God show me something in this area, God show me something. But I'm getting it at the time when this happened, this person was getting putting their seatbelt on, getting ready to leave now. They was getting ready to do something. Like I said, they could have been about to do another sting or something. Do a sting on somebody else or something now. Something else was going on. This person was, like I said, a minute sooner or a minute later, a second sooner or a second later. It was perfect timing. It was perfect timing, darling. Whatever you did, it was perfect timing. Three of Wands. Yeah, this person tried to have you out down there. And I'm getting that this person could have sent some a lover to you with HIV, AIDS, STDs, syphilis, incurable things, HPV. They could have sent somebody your way. Or like somebody who has um some type of damageable internal fluids. Like they they have sex with women and women rash up and break out down there from they semen look get sick and start losing everything can't work and shit they wanted you to fuck this person and make this happen even if you did have sex with this person you you were you were spiritually immune to whatever was taking place so you did not contract the spiritual disease or sexual disease whatever this was you did not contract a bit of it and this individual was trying to figure out now why is you not sick why is you still strong. Why didn't this shit break you down? Why you feeling good? How you looking good? Smelling good and stuff? You still in the up and up? The moon? Some shady shit going on. Your dog could be barking a lot and that's because they can uh they can smell these people. These people could be naughty. These people could be up the street from your house, but your dog is smelling this person. Your cat could be meowing. Your animals could be sensing this shit. Even if you have a home surveillance camera and your surveillance camera been doing a lot of weird shit, like if you look at your phone, your surveillance camera is on your phone. Um, your surveillance camera is telling you it sent something and things like that. Like, you know, different things going on. Take that for Heba warning. Your ring doorbell, because I know my ring doorbell be going to hell off for weird shit, so my shit been going off real weird lady. my ring doorbell, so... Be careful with y'all ring doorbells. You know, whatever y'all ring doorbell showing y'all, just sit and look at it because you could actually probably hear 
somebody, go to one of your neighbor's house next door. You know, if you live in a hometown home, apartment, wherever you live there, you could probably overhear a conversation. You can even overhear police officers asking them to let them let them know if they hear any sounds from your house or something like the fool. You'll be a fool to not sit and pay attention now. These individuals do not know where you live at. Like, say, face, they know your apartment. Your apartments, they don't know your exact apartment. But they could possibly know the area you live in, the community you live in, the neighborhood you live in, the, sub the subdivision you live in, the apartments you live in, the condos you live in, the loft you live in. They can know the area, but they don't know the exact place. Because if they did, they you would have been dead. They would have had somebody come knock at your door. Be careful with opening up your door too. Don't be opening up your door for nobody, for weird knocks. If you're not expecting any visitors, don't acknowledge anyone at your door. Um, even packages, they could you could order a UPS FedEx outfit online. These people could also make a fake tracking number, give fake FedEx a UPS clothing, the DHL delivery clothing, put that on that box with that fake tracking number, actually have it delivered to you by this. Fake ass, you get what I'm saying? Like, they could really do that shit. Like, people really smart like that. I hear it. Queen of Pentacles. And this person, I'm getting that this person got a female directing them, helping them do this shit. It's also a female energy involved in this shit. Queen of Cups, Page of Pentacles, Death. Look. I'm telling you, somebody didn't pay for your death now. Somebody didn't thought they put money on your head. We, all they did was took money out their hand. All they been doing was helping these people out. Helping these poor ass people out. That's all they been doing. And this person can be doing magic to also catch you too. Like this person could be trying to do magic to catch you like Minecraft and shit to tell you to come out your house to hang man. Tell you come out your house, take out the trash, maybe go to Starbucks, maybe go to, you know, wherever you go to, Dunkin' Donuts, Shipley Donuts, Krispy Kreme Donuts, you know, wherever you go, Jack in the Box, McDonald's. And I'm getting that um, today, today is going to be some sort of argument about, like I said, so today may be the last time that they try to do whatever they're going to do now and it's not going to work. This shit is not going to work. To a pinnacle. Whatever they're they trying, they're they plotting and planning, is not going to work. Like, it, it, it already has failed. It has already failed, and you know why it has already failed. Every king of swords. You guarding, you ready for war. Like, you're not fucking dumb. You are very aware of your surroundings. And you already know if you're not aware, the universe is aware. You're not fucking stupid. You comprehend every goddamn thing that's going on. Look, Queen of Swords. They really don't know they fucking with somebody that's really... All right, now. Nah, because they, they really fucking with the wrong person. Nah. They, you'll really do a, a, a equalizer on them. Come up trying to stab or shoot you, you'll really make the bullet reverse back into their body. Take the gun and put push it into them. Take the knife and push it into them. I'm hearing a past life relationship has taught you this, has trained you. Maybe your past life relationship, somebody was in a fortress, a secret service or something. You know a lot of defense, um, how to defend yourself. You know about a lot of sneak attacks, how people can sneak attack you. You have a lot of knowledge in, um, shall I say, the grimy round. Four of Pentacles, you can have a Haitian, you could be a Haitian descendant, Trinidadian, Jamaican, African, Nigerian, Hinduism, Muslim, the magician, judgment. Now, now, they, now listen, now I'm hearing compensation. You might get um a direct deposit, a check in your mail, a gift card may pop up. Or something like that. You may get an email in regards to some funds or something. I'm getting that you about to be um rewarded for grieving and suffering. For not knowing what was going on. They may bless you unknowingly so that you can move from out of your community. From out of your area. So that um this, this type of situation don't happen to you. So whatever dream you have. Your dream house. They want you to buy your dream house. So the next blessing that you get. This is for you to buy your dream home. <laughs> Mm 
whatever the universe is sending to you right now, it is um it's for you to go buy your dream home. Um, heart, I'm hearing heart. Somebody could be having heart um tightening to heart, like you know, feelings with your heart. This could um be them doing they can also be doing something on the back end with magic or something to weaken your heart so that like while you you know you're fighting or so if you're bleeding out, they're trying they're doing magic against your immune, they're trying to cancel out your immune, they're trying to fuck your body up spiritually, they're trying to spiritually weaken you now. King of Cups. They're trying to keep you isolated, could be fueling you and feuding you to feud with people. It could be fueling and fueling you, just fueling you, gassing you up. To have feud and confrontation with people to check people and shit and that's because if you're not focused on them you're focused on confusion and checking people and the reasons you're in isolation you're not gonna be able to focus on your ten of pentacles and if you're not focused on your ten of pentacles your intuition is not on and if your intuition is not on your finances is not on and if your finances is not on they could get one up on you get up to a wine you protected. You were guarded from that. They tried to give you some type of spiritual or um physical sickness, and you were guarded from. It. You're completely immune. It's like you could your body. I'm hearing you shitted it out. So if you had sexual intercourse with somebody and you woke up the next day shitting your ass off like you had diarrhea, you just shitted out something that they tried to kill you. Because you are the shit. So it didn't come out through vomit. It didn't come out through piss. It came out the shit. And you could have told this person, like, I've been having diarrhea. Have you been having diarrhea? Y'all could have ate something together, went out to eat. And you could have been asking the person, like, are you feeling the same way I'm feeling? They could have probably lied and told you, yeah, because they really are feeling like that. Because it ain't no cure to that shit. They really feeling like that. Look, the tower. This person thought they was causing the tower for you. They thought they were about to make you sick, make you lose focus. Nine of Wands, yeah, because this person know you out here by yourself. You have a lot of responsibility. And if you're not by yourself, you're taking care of a lot of responsibilities by yourself. So this person could have came through a relationship. Giving off the uh, projection that you that, that there's someone that you can need. Someone you can depend on. Somebody you can lean on. You could have been hearing the song, Lean On Me. When you're not strong, you could be hearing the different versions of it. You could be hearing it on commercials, on the radio, on TikToks, on reels. You could be hearing in different places. That's because this person has been listening to this song when they think of you trying to project these feelings in this song to you. They're trying to do musical magic, lyrical magic to you. They're trying to subliminally sing you. Miss, I got two that drop. Y'all, my nails on. Knight of Cups in the world. Yeah. This person don't know though. This person could also be trying to ask your project to you and using somebody else's face. Like using somebody else that you don't know. And I'm getting at this person's physical appearance is a spiritual cover up for who they really are. I'm seeing a bum. I'm seeing it look like a crackhead, brown teeth, one tooth is missing, um, a bum black underneath their eyes. Mustache, hair not combed, hair not brushed, hair not cut, not lined up, lace not done, like nothing ain't done. On nails is chewed up, feet is chewed up, clothes is chewed up. They don't look really put together as stable. That's what I'm seeing in the spiritual, in the astral realm. But in the physical realm, this person could be everything. This person could look good, have caress upon them, seduction. This person could look like everything that you ever wanted, but this is like, you know, like an alien. A, this was a, a skin. They put skin on a different skin on this person. The devil. This person was made to, to chain people, lock people in relationship. Whether it was with them or with somebody else. And they're not going to stop sending people your way. That's why I said, don't be letting nobody into your home. And a lot of them motherfuckers watching my videos. So now motherfuckers going to be trying to invite you out and have somebody else follow you home now. <laughs> They got to come with it and get lost fucking with me. Put a couple more here. Hmm. We got the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Wands. Yeah. 
You gave this battle to God because you didn't even know what was going on. This battle was not yours. This battle was for this police officer and this individual. Because while watching them individuals, they, they figured out some other shit. They puzzled together some whole other shit. They led them back to some whole other shit. I'm hearing a sex traffic ring. They led them back to a whole sex traffic ring when they did this to you. That same day, they led them back to a coordinator of a sex traffic ring. And they've been watching the sex traffic ring. It's about to be a sex traffic ring, some type of sex trafficking that's about to come out collective. And it's specifically because this person who was in charge of the sex traffic ring who was about to be arrested was coming after you. This person was coming after you now. This person stepped outside of sex trafficking and kidnapping and shit to, to have somebody... It's either was it, it, it this could have even been committing spiritual murder or physical murder upon you. I'm getting both, whichever way they could have did it faster. Whichever hit man or hit woman they were sending could have did it faster. Whichever way they could have did it faster. Holy Spirit, verify any of this information. Is this information correct? Choose a new direction. Don't stop. It's up to you. So, um, yeah, like I said, it's up to you with this divine time, but that's not the question to ask. It's up to you with this divine timing. Like I said, a second sooner or a second later. It's all up to you if you want to listen to your if you want to listen to your ancestors. Give me a yes or no. I need a yes or no. Why am I only getting yes or no, baby? That's all I need. There's something better. Yes or no. Within the next few weeks, a peaceful resolution. Yes or no. Yes or no. Yes. Oh, yes, so the sex trafficking ring about to come down? Okay, so when it says choose a new direction, okay, I get what you're saying now. Is this information true about collective being, you know, stalked and misused and abused? Ask your angels. <laughs> angels, I say, Holy Spirit, is this information accurate of the um police officer? Catching some shit that was going on with collective, and it led them to some whole other shit. Yes. And is this sex trafficking ring head about to come down? Here it says unlikely and reconsider. So this person could possibly go to jail but get off on the charges. Holy Spirit, is this person going to jail and get off on the charges? No. So will they catch just the hitman? Let me regroup all my answers and all my yes and no's out here. Take action, communicate clearly. Will the person that has been hiring all these hitmen, which is also the head of the sex trafficking ring, be acquitted off of any of these charges? Yes. Will they kill off any witnesses or any remainders of the ring? Don't stop. Yeah, so this person is very dangerous. So the hitman, all the people that was actually sent to you <clears throat> could actually be about to be, you know, unalive by this person so that this person can mark their, you know, cover their tracks because these are low-class individuals and they did not get paid for even stalking you. They got paid lunch, gas, money, probably even, you know, food or clothing, but they didn't get, get paid the amount that they were supposed to get paid for doing whatever they're supposed to do. Because they didn't do what they were supposed to do. 
but it's not their fault that the police are watching you are protected by you it's not their fault that this this higher up masculine didn't tell these individuals that you were protected and that they've sent several other individuals that have failed this task it's not these people fault it's not these six of pentacles fault and this, this higher up masculine understands that so in exchange you're about to off these energies these hit men these hit women have come towards you Holy Spirit says you are ready. And this could be about to take place within the next few months. When we say next few months, we could be talking two or three months. This person may chill out right now because it's income tax season, so they may be trying to bait in um bait in new victims. This person could be baiting in new victims. Girl, yeah, it's too long. There's something better. Oh, so within the next few months, all these individuals be dead. Oh, listen to your intuition. Mm, so this person just about to start popping these niggas. Improving health. Wow. This person just about to start popping these niggas like left to right. One by one. Look abundance. They don't even know it. They don't even know they big homie. They hire or they boss is about to get them fucked over. In the near future. I'm getting that this is about the money as well. Maybe this person did pay and they want the money back. So maybe the hitman is about to die because they didn't get this person back the money, this divine masculine the money for not being able to kill you or do whatever they, they were told that they had to do to you. Mm. Within the next few weeks. So the main antagonizer, the man who was told the hitman who was told that that who told them that they can really get the job done that they don't give a fuck about anything they can really get the job done they were paid up front they take payment up front right they want the divine mask the karmic masculine who's paying all this the star who's paid for all this they want their money back because you're still alive well and breathing causing problems so they want their money back but this hitman now uh, he ain't even got the money he didn't spend it Meditation brings awareness. He didn't spend the money now. He spent it probably with you, on you, uh, before he was even able to unalive you. This person took a break from unaliving you. Compromise. This person took a break from trying to unalive you to go and splurge and ball with this money. Then they said they're about to come back and do whatever they got to do to collect it because they were telling this masculine they got to take care of their family. They got this and that to do. They got this and that to catch up on. Um, so if any of your exes, anybody you was dealing with, sleeping with, their hair ain't cut, nails ain't done, shit like that, that's because all that money gone that they had when you met them from trying to rob you and set you up. Helpful people. This person had helpful people around them compromise. They could have had help. This divine match feminine that's involved with this. There's a feminine that's involved in this. They could um also be helpful with this and trying to tell the higher up the guy who paid for all this, the star who paid for all this. You know, they're trying to come to a compromise, like give this hit man, hit woman a certain amount of time, let them get the tags done, let them let collective warm up to them a little bit more, let them get back in in good grace with collective, let them do this and do this with collective. Like they tried to come to a compromise. But something has come about collective that you knew what was going on. <laughs> Choose a new direction. Yes, be assertive. And I has come back to this head nigga, this higher hyphen, that you knew what was going on the whole time. You felt something. You knew something. No need to worry. Not the right time. A year from now, this situation will improve. So this higher up hyphen man, 
I'm here in federal prison. They won't, they, they may get out on bond for these charges, but they will have to go back and sit in federal prison. Yep, this situation will improve. They will have to sit in federal prison. Because this is a federal crime. This is They're charging them with RICOs along with the sex trafficking, rape, kidnap, homicide, spiritual homicide. Yep. Even whoever they're with and their children will be interrogated, guns put to their children's chest upon arresting the parent. Ace of Cups, because I'm getting at this person, this higher hyphen, they know something up, so they've been up underneath their family lately, being more of a family man, a family woman. But this is because they think that their children are protecting them, but they little do they know the SWAT team is about to come in and put guns to their children's chest as well, just to show this divine masculine that they don't give a fuck about anything that they have going on because y'all didn't give a fuck about collective. This in specifically, this whole shit that is about to come about is because this individual tried to come up against you, collective. Try to harm you, shut you up, quiet you out. This person heard something about you through the great mind about maybe a gift, a power, some type of knowledge or, or understanding that you knew, some type of spiritual consent that you knew. Yep, the Empress. And we're going to leave it at that. Y'all stay prayed up, stay protected, stay safe, stay dangerous. Keep your shit off safety when you out your home until you hear about this ring, this person, whoever this is being taken down. Now, you're going to hear about this now. It's going to be on the news. <laughs> this is going to be on the news. This is going to break the news and probably at night. This is probably why you up at night. You need to be watching the news. It probably has already happened. You need to be watching the news for this breaking news. You need to be prepared to, to get this breaking news collected. The numbers 18 could be significant. Yesterday was the 18th. This could have been something that happened on the 18th and it turned on the news collective. In Jesus' name, we pray. I say amen and amen.